Hey there, this is Josh with the Fun Times Guide, and today I want to talk about how to clean coins without devaluing them. Now, it's a common question. You know, how do you clean a coin without lowering its value or without damaging it further? And unfortunately, a lot of the methods that are out there that you might come across in different online forums uh, will actually impart more damage to a coin. Uh, take, for example, the common cleaning agents that are mentioned, uh, baking soda, ketchup, vinegar, toothpaste. Those are all um, uh, either abrasive and or acidic and caustic methods of cleaning coins. And so then we go to the safe methods. Well, what are the safe methods for cleaning coins? How do you clean a coin without you know, removing its uh, outer layer of metal or without lowering the value? There are two ways that I recommend. Um, the first involves using running water, which we don't have running water at this moment. Um, or by a sink. And of course, another one that you might come across is using acetone. Um, now, what I have here is a 2015 Lincoln Scent. And I came across it in circulation. And uh, it's seen better days. You'll note that it's got some staining on the reverse and the obverse. And maybe some kind of light film up near the top of the obverse across the motto and God we trust. I hope that the camera is focusing correctly. Um, but, uh, you'll take a coin like this and go, gee whiz, well, let's clean it up, make it look nice and new. That's where I'm going to stop you because there's really no way to make an old or a circulated coin or a stained copper coin. And this coin does have a copper outer layer, uh, over its zinc core. There's no way to really make an old or circulated coin look brand new. There's just no way to do it. Um, A, you can't, and B, the methods that, uh, people might typically use to try, Embarking on that will only create more damage. So the running water method, that's really good for moving like surface debris. Let's say I found this coin buried in dirt. Uh, the running water would help to loosen and slough off the dirt or um, debris perhaps might be found in a coin that's been in circulation for a long time and has dirt in the crevices. Uh, running water really would not help here a whole lot because this coin is rather clean. Not cleaned, but clean. Um... So that is one thing that I would not recommend here. I'll show you for the sake of presentation what that would look like, cleaning a coin under running water, um, just, just for the sake of demonstration. Uh, we use tepid water, so that means turning on the cold and the hot water so we have a nice even temperature because temperature extremes, especially hot temperatures, can wreak havoc on a coin like this, really any coin, but especially copper coins. Again, copper is a highly reactive metal, so anything you do to it beyond... Um, looking at it pretty much can affect the way the coin's going to look. Let's say this coin was found in a dirt, uh, you know, let's say a pot, for example, a gardening pot, or maybe uh, in the front yard. You'd use some running water to slough off that dirt, that debris, leave it there for a few moments, and then you would pat dry, not rub, but pat dry that coin. Because rubbing, as you might suspect, will impart hairlines across the coin. And what do hairlines do? They devalue coins. So that is not something you want to do. You don't want to rub a coin with a cloth of any kind, but you could patch right with a nice soft dry cloth like this one here and, and uh, remove that water without much issue at all. So we see a coin here that really doesn't look any different than it did, did a minute ago. And that's what I expected because this coin again, didn't really have any loose dirt debris to remove under running water. So you might go, well, okay, let's try the second method for safely cleaning coins without devaluing them. And that would be the acetone solution. Now, acetone is a very tricky animal because A, it can be very dangerous. I'm in a uh, ventilated room. I'm wearing a glove here on the hand that'll be handling the coin. Um, also note using a pie pan, an aluminum pie pan. So as experience has taught me, acetone being... Um, a very uh, reactive and um, possibly dangerous agent eats through paper, eats through styrofoam, eats through plastic. I've had the best success when it comes to soaking coins using aluminum pie pans. Um, there are other safe methods out there too for creating a nice um, basin for acetone bath for a coin. I just happen to have pie pans on hand, so I'm using that. Uh, I would definitely look up and see what you have in your repertoire that would be safe to use for uh, serving as a basin, as a vessel for acetone. Um, just make sure whatever you do, you're, you're in a ventilated room or a ventilated area, you're wearing gloves, you're not uh, taking the acetone too close to your face, you're not letting it sit in your hands too long. 
Um, and as you might have seen here, look what's sitting in the side. This pie pan there is already acetone inside the pie pan. So I've created a little base in there for this patty, which to sit and hopefully uh, remove some of the, the um, whitish film and maybe the residue in the, on the reverse here off the coin. So I'm gonna let it soak in there just for a little bit. And uh, now I'm gonna be very careful how I move this penny on the aluminum because of course the metal pie pan could scrape the surface of the coin. If I move this coin around too much, ah, I'll warn you with that, be careful uh, when handling your coins. And uh, let it set there just for a few moments. And uh, both obverse and reverse, let it just soak in that acetone. And um, while I'm letting this happen here, I'm gonna go back to the sink for a moment. Do bear in mind that when I was Rinsing the coin in the sink, I had pulled up the drain stopper. That's so in case the coin slips out of my hand, it wouldn't go down the drain. Um, I'm not really in the mood to try to rescue a coin from the P-trap of this drain, nor do I really wish to make a video about how to remove coins from P-traps. So bear in mind, when using any sinks or whatever, bathtubs, what have you, with coins, always pull up the drain stopper so that you don't have any problems with the coins going down the drain. And as I stand here talking to you, letting this coat coin soak, um, let's see what has happened. Um, well, I didn't remove the stains, which I expected fully because the goal is not to remove stains or discoloration from coins. That will only uh, impair the surfaces more. And again, with copper coins, it's very tricky to remove stains and discoloration from any coin that has copper, uh, a copper composition because copper being so highly reactive, anything you do to it practically will create further damage. Um, there's still some some film there on top of the Ngavi Trust. I do notice that some of the crud, that actually I did see like some embedded crud and slightly Lincoln's details there on the head. Those appear to be gone. Oh, and look at that. There is some kind of a residue back here on the light residue on the reverse, maybe from being adhered to like a postcard or something like a, a coupon. Um, you know, sometimes there are mailers that will, uh, in which you'll see like a coin affixed to the postcard, um, and they will glue the coin onto that postcard, sometimes like a glue. That was gone. The film, okay, so here's what I see. The film appears to have been removed, but there's still some kind of a discoloration there under where the film was. So the acetone was successful to the extent that it removed the film, but it looks like the discoloration is still there. But again, we removed the residue on the reverse and the relief or the kind of uh, cruddy film has been removed. You know, and this is where I say, you don't, if you can't beat it with acetone or beat it with water, your next best bet is to consult the services of a professional uh, coin restoration or conservation service, they are out there, they do charge some money, and they don't guarantee results. But if running water doesn't remove what you want off your coin, and an acetone doesn't impart the results you want, that is the next best method. It's not free, but it is safe. Um, so hopefully this gives you some ideas as to how to approach cleaning your coins without devaluing them. Um, again, there really aren't many methods for doing so, and I really would advise you to stay away from any websites that tout um, excellent results or guarantee results when it comes to cleaning coins because there's no guarantees when it comes to cleaning any coins. I can promise you that. But at least, again, we have made some improvement with that um, adhesive and the, the film. If not the discoloration that was under the film, then at least the film itself that was on there. So we can call it at least a half success anyway. Uh, I would advise you to always play it safe when trying to clean coins. Start conservative. Don't go for the baking soda. Don't go for the toothpaste. Avoid the temptation of vinegars and ketchups and taco sauce and all those things. You almost never end up better off after trying to clean a coin, especially with abrasive and caustic methods like those. But with water and acetone, it's a great way to start to see how far you can get. I say start with the water first. That's the most conservative method then go to the acetone, and if that doesn't work, then go to a professional conservation restoration service. This is Josh with the Fun Times Guide. I appreciate your time. I hope you've learned something in this uh, video. Please do uh, comment, like, and share as you feel fit, 
And uh, it's been great talking with you. All the best to you with your collecting adventures. And um, stay safe.